Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to answer uh, the frequently asked questions that I'm getting regarding this uh, Redmi 4A, which is a budget oriented uh, smartphone that was launched by Xiaomi. And I've been using this for the last three days. And I asked you guys uh, about the common questions that you might have about this. And I asked this via the YouTube community page and I got over 600 uh, questions there and I have selected 18 of the most common questions that I was getting about this one. So let's start. Uh, this one and uh, the first question I got and got this question from quite a few of you uh, this is uh, 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 regarding the LED notification light yes this Redmi 4A actually has a physical LED notification light it's over here so yeah it has that and it works um, next question is from uh, Mr. Reddy. He's asking, does it have the metal back or a plastic back? Uh, the thing is that this device is having a plastic back. It feels like a, a metal, but uh, it is plastic as you can see. And I hate it. It is plastic. It's specifically polycarbonate. And that is one of the main reasons. Actually, when I first held this device, it felt actually uh, really light for a five inch device with a 3000 milliamp hour battery and uh, but uh, regarding the build quality no issues the build quality is nice it doesn't have that creaking noise or anything like that uh, this is by mr takur how is the camera and the screen quality two-part question first let's talk about the screen quality it's having a five inch uh, 720p hd screen and overall i would say the screen quality is nice but it's slightly on the yellowish side in my opinion uh, but in terms of sharpness the screen quality is good i have no issues with that i even uh, watched quite a bit of uh, videos with this youtube videos and i had no problems uh, but yeah the screen is slightly on the yellowish side and uh, regarding the camera, I've got actually a lot of uh, questions from you guys regarding the camera. Uh, so I'll talk about that later. And first, let's talk about the battery backup and the screen on time. This is by uh, suction. Uh, regarding the battery, it has having a sealed battery. So that's not user replaceable. And it's a 3030 milliamp hour uh, battery. And in fact, the battery life is surprisingly uh, good. It's not as good as the Redmi 4, which has a uh, obviously larger battery. But uh, for this size of a phone, the battery life was actually good. As you can see from the screenshots, it could easily last for over 24 hours. And in terms of screen on time, as you can see, it lasted me slightly over six hours. So typically it should last easily for about five plus hours in terms of screen on time. So it should last for a typical working day. And I, uh, this was done uh, using a single SIM. I was using Airtel 4G when I tested this one. So battery life is good. But again, if you have used the Redmi regular four, uh, which is more expensive, that uh, could actually get me a screen on time of about anywhere between seven to eight and a half hours this i would rate between five to uh six and a half hours so i hope that helps uh, uh ruthwick is asking is there any heating and how is the camera performance ruthwick in general usage i did not find any heating issues i've been using this one with my primary sim that is airtel 4g for the last uh, three days and i did not notice any overheating issues with regular usage but i also did gaming i just yesterday i posted the gaming review and the good thing is that it did the gaming actually really well uh, but uh, with heavy gaming it did touch about 44 degrees celsius but again with uh, normal usage i did not find any overheating issues now talking about the camera performance many of you have asked me about it uh, and the rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter and the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and here are some of the sample shots that i've taken with the camera so that you can have a better idea as you can see the shots that you take in outdoor conditions come out to be good but again uh, when you uh, move to indoor lighting conditions and in artificial lighting conditions here the camera uh, actually does not produce good results in artificial lighting and low lighting conditions the camera performance was not that good even um, when moving to the front facing camera again the results are the same outdoor conditions the camera performance is good but when we move to indoor lighting conditions the picture is actually very soft and some of you have also asked me to actually uh, record a video how is the what do you say microphone while you record a video so here is a quick sample with the front facing camera recording this video with the redmi 4a's front facing camera and the audio is also being recorded via the same and as you can see this is in outdoor uh, conditions uh, so this should give you an idea about the video recording with the front facing camera of the Redmi 4A and the audio is also being recorded by the internal microphone. Many of you were asking how is the 
audio while the video is being recorded. Chari is asking, can it beat the Redmi 3S at rupees 7,000? I've got uh, similar questions. I would say if you have a budget of about 7,000, go with the Redmi 3S. It has slightly better battery life and also the back is made up of metal. But for 6,000 rupees, if you don't want to spend that 7,000 rupees, then for 6,000 rupees, this Redmi 4A is a good device. Uh, I would say uh, the Redmi 3S, if you're going with the Redmi 3S, go with the higher variant uh, because uh, that uh, one that is selling for 9,000 rupees comes with a fingerprint scanner. So that might be the only uh, thing that I'll go with the Redmi 3S because of the fingerprint scanner and the slightly uh, beefier battery life that you'll get. Uh, this is by Piku. Any heating and voltage support. Uh, about heating, I've already mentioned in regular usage. It does get a slightly warm, but uh, no overheating that I've noticed. And yes, it does have voltage. I did test it with the Lancio, as you can see from the screenshot. Uh, this is by Sabir. How is the battery and performance when compared to the Redmi 3S? I no longer have the Redmi 3S, but in terms of battery life, as I've mentioned, the Redmi 3S or the Redmi 3S Prime will get you slightly better battery life compared to this one. But again, this one also gets good battery life. And if you're a sort of normal user, it should easily last for a typical working day. Uh, this is by Swapnet. What about the sound quality? Regarding the speakers, uh, uh, the speakers are actually decent on this one because generally on many of the Xiaomi Redmi phones, uh, the speaker uh, loudness is very low. That's not the case. It's decent on this one. And uh, this is by Silesh. What is the effect of the Adreno 3808 GPU on the Redmi 4A's performance? Silesh, in general operations, I didn't notice any slowdown in the UI. And in fact, I've already posted my gaming review where I in fact played very heavy games like Nova 3, Asphalt, and other games so again the gaming performance was actually really good considering the price point of this device again check out my gaming review for more details link will be the a link for that will be there in the youtube show notes uh, this is by Manav. Uh, please tell me about sensors. Surprisingly, this uh, Redmi 4A has all the sensors. In fact, I showed all the sensors in the gaming review also. It has the gyroscope, it has compass, auto brightness sensor, and all these sensors. So in terms of sensors, Xiaomi didn't compromise. And in fact, I would say other manufacturers should learn from Xiaomi. Considering that it's a budget-oriented device just for 6,000, they are still not skimping on the sensors. Uh, now let's move to the next one. This is by Ankit. He says, I want a phone for my mom. Uh, she's not a heavy user. Should I buy it? Ankit, yes. Uh, I would say it's ideal uh, for uh, your mom. If she's not a heavy user, then this would be an ideal phone. In fact, I'm planning to actually purchase one for my daughter. Uh, I feel the price is uh, just perfect, just around 6,000 rupees. And my daughter just plays casual games. And I feel this might be a good buy. In fact, uh, let's move to the next one. And I've got quite a few questions like this. This is from Heta. He's asking, how does it fare uh, when compared to the Moto E3 Power or the Redmi 3S? Again, as I've told you, Redmi 3S, if you have the budget for the Redmi 3S, go with the Redmi 3S, but don't go for the Moto E3 Power. Uh, between the this Redmi 4A and the Moto E3 uh, Power, I would say go with the Redmi 4A because uh, this is just far better. The processor that is used in the Moto uh, E3 Power is simply not that good. And in fact, it lags quite a bit when you do heavy tasks like gaming and stuff so moto e3 i would simply not recommend uh, this is by Raja. Uh, does it have any other RAM variant? No, sadly, the uh, Xiaomi is just selling one variant that comes with two gigabytes of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. And uh, this is by uh, Vikrant. Uh, does it support OTG? Yes, it does support OTG. I tested it, and here again, as you can see from the screenshot, so OTG support is fully there. Now, uh, this uh, is the last question, I guess. This is from Dilip. Uh, does it have a fingerprint uh, sensor? No, it does not have any fingerprint uh, sensor, as you can see. If you want the fingerprint sensor, you have to go with the Redmi 3S Prime, but that sells for 9,000 rupees. So guys, these were some of the common questions that I was getting regarding the Redmi 4A. I hope uh, this uh, video was uh, helpful. Again, if you have any other questions regarding this Redmi 4A, do post your questions in the YouTube uh, comment section below and I'll try to include them in my full review. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.